The NBA is rigged. The NBA is scripted. Every major sport is rigged and scripted. Yeah. And y'all know what I'm finna say. They know the outcomes before the game is even played. Before we get into this game four prediction video, make sure to like, comment, and sub to your boy. We back outside with it again. Hot as hell in Vegas. Um, but we talking about game four. Game three went like how I expected. I was expecting Boston to get that win. Everybody and their mama thought it was a good spot for Dallas. And it was. Historically, it was a good spot for Dallas to win that game and come through. But I just went the other way. And I think Boston is the superior team. Dallas cannot guard Boston. Luka don't play no D. And they're terrible at defending the three. Boston shot 46 threes to Dallas 25 threes. And that's a big difference. You know what I mean? So, you know, they trading off twos and threes. At the end of it, threes are worth more than twos. And Boston are playing, they're playing on both ends of the floor. I told y'all, it ain't no third option for Dallas. And you know, the third option is very inconsistent. Kyrie and Luka can go off all they want. They can do all they want. But at the end of the day, you need more than that. Boston on any given night, when Porzingis is playing, they have five players that can, that can score the rock, 20. They can score 20 points. Any of the five players can score 20, like, whenever. But, you know, without Porzingis, you got four players that can score 20. That's way more than what Dallas has, right? So, like I said, game two, game three was the most vulnerable for Boston. But in this game right now, like, I just think everybody jumped ship off the hype train that Dallas was having. And, you know, they're jumping ship for Boston to get a sweep tonight. It's a very good chance that Boston already took Dallas heart, right? I, You know me. I love Boston. I've been preaching about Boston, and I've been preaching about Jason Tatum. All that hating about Jason Tatum, stop that, bro. Stop. You know what I mean? Like, he's a good player. It don't matter. Jalen Brown ain't the only one that's going to win the ring. You feel what I'm saying? It's a team effort to win the ring. And Boston has the team to do that. And they have a chance to run that shit back next year. But in this game, game four, man, like, I truly think that, um, that you know, I see the public is on Boston. I've seen 79% of the bets are on um, Boston. And, you know, that kind of scares me away from Boston a little bit. And I think it's a good shot that Dallas may steal one at home tonight. And if I was to bet it, um... I would take the under to, to 11 and a half, and I'll take Dallas to win one game at least and, you know, bring it back to Boston. So um, tonight I do have Dallas winning one game or winning this game, game four, because, you know, everybody thought Dallas would win game three. I wasn't on that. I've been on – I said it on my live um, that, I think that, that I think Boston will win the first three and Dallas will win game four. And, you know, it's going that way. And, you know, I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to stand on business. And I think Dallas will get the job done tonight. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I don't want to, you know, talk too much about it. But if y'all want to take it, Dallas Mavericks tonight to win the game. Under 2 and 11 and a half. Let's get this money. Let's get it.